Hi, I'm Christopher Donegan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Arc 4 Light Semi-Flush Slash Pendant. So this is designed so it can be a semi-flush. It can be as short as 10.5 inches off the ceiling, or it could be a pendant like over a breakfast table or a, maybe another place, a stairway, and as long as 37.3 from the bottom of the fixture up. So it, it can be a lot of things, and you'll notice this is in two different places. It's in our semi-flush section on our website, also in our dining pendant section. So let's jump into the fixture body itself, and that's going to be independent of this. And the size of that is going to be 8.1 inches tall and then 13.5 inches in diameter. Like I said before, the overall height on this, now we're talking about the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the actual ceiling. That can be as short as 10.5 and as long as 37.3. If you need this to be longer than the long, let's say you need this to be 45 or 65 or something like that, or even longer, into the hundreds of inches long, drop me a quick email, say you're looking at the 131060 and you need it to be X, so tell me what that number is. I'm going to take your email, send it through Hubbardson Forge's customs department, where it's going to come back with an answer, how we can take care of you. Adds a little time and money, but we do customs all the time. It's no big deal. So let's get into how Hubbardson Forge uses a system of interconnected pipes to get you the lengths that you need. So you have three of the 12 inch, you have one of the six inch, and you're gonna have one of a three inch pipe. They have threading on the ends, this end here, that end there, and then you have these little connectors that have threading on them as well, and that they're gonna put them all together. And how you're gonna put this together is you're gonna lay them out on a nice fluffy towel. So you're gonna get a couple bath towels, you're gonna to put them end to end on a counter or on a table. You're gonna be put the part with the sockets at one end, and then you're gonna figure out which pipes you need to get the length that you need for, from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture. You're just gonna lay them out, the little connectors between them, and then at the end of it, you're gonna have the canopy. That's the part that goes on the ceiling. And then all you're gonna do is screw them together. So it's so, totally simple, it takes only a second. Let me just get this in here. And look at that, perfect. And look at that, it's a nice clean look. There's almost no seam there too. On the end of this, you're gonna have a five inch round canopy. And that canopy is gonna go over your four inch junction box. And this is your canopy. I wanna show you a little bit more information about that. And how we do it is we're gonna look at the installations instructions. If you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on that side of the screen, midway down, you're gonna see a link. It's gonna say, click here for installations instructions PDF. So open that up for me. It is gonna show you a full parts list. It's gonna show you uh, what the glass is like. And when you put this all together, the glass does not go on until you actually have it up. So put the glass aside for now. It's gonna show you more information on this canopy. It's also slope ceiling adaptable already to 45 degrees. It has a knuckle built into the top right here. So just like that, it's like magic. And you don't have to do any customization to get, get it to work on a slope ceiling, like a cathedral ceiling or in a stairway. Okay, moving on from there, why don't we get into, let's talk about the glass really quick. So these glass panels are kind of arced. And how they make them is they basically have a, a form, and then they put in crushed glass. It goes into a kiln. It melts and falls into this form, and then it's slightly swirled. Really beautiful. A tremendous amount of work for a little piece of glass like this. And that's what Hubbardson Forge is all about. Every single piece is going to be you know, the best of whatever it's going to be. So that's your glass on this. And you know what, if you watch the other videos I did on the other arc pieces, some of those I actually have the physical glass and I can hold it up to the camera so you can check it out. So do that if you can. Let's talk about what's inside of this and how, what they're gonna be using for a socket. It's gonna be using a medium base. And a lot of people think a medium base automatically means the bigger bulb, but it's really about the base on this. So it's gonna be using the bigger base, not the smaller base. However, the top of it's gonna be like this. So remember, the, the space that you have behind that glass is not that large, so it's only gonna be able to accommodate what's called a type B bulb, and that's this guy. So it's gonna either be a torpedo or it's going to be this flame tip, and that's the size that's gonna be going behind that glass. So you can get these in all kinds of different ways. The max on this for incandescent is gonna be 60 watts behind each of these panels of glass in these sockets. If you want to go LED, it doesn't matter. It's, it's like whatever you can get available in an LED in this bulb size. And you can get all kinds of stuff. So the most common one you're going to find out there is going to be a 40 watt equivalent. However, I think you should probably go for a 60 watt equivalent in each of these. I have never seen this bulb higher than a 60 watt equivalent, though it might be out there. You might want to do a little research and maybe find a 75. If you do, let me know. I would love to see it. And I, I've seen these bulbs in frosted. I've seen them in clear. It's totally up to you what you get, make sure it's dimmable because if you do get that higher wattage bulb, like a 60 watt bulb, you're gonna to wanna to dim this down and it is a dimmable fixture. 
I always talk about the color of light coming out of LEDs all the time in every video. 2700 Kelvin is a very yellow, yellow light. It's almost like the setting sun. It's very pretty. I don't know if it's going to work so great with this piece of glass, but it is out there. The other place you can go is going to be what's called daylight. And daylight sounds like it's a warm light. It's not. That's a cold hospital waiting room light. That's that bluish white light. That's 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 Kelvin. I don't definitely don't think that does, that's going to work on this piece of glass because the piece of glass is so beautiful, all four of them, that you want to have something like warm white. And warm white is 3,000 Kelvin. And that's the light coming down on my hands right now. So that's this nice light. That's the same kind of light that came out of these incandescent bulbs we all grew up with. So it's a nice warm glow. It makes everything look wonderful. And um, that's my choice on this. Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the HandmaidenVermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video. So it's really important that you kind of watch the video, use the chart. You can click on that chart on different things. So you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke. Click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron, it'll do the same thing. But it's really important that you understand how Hubbard's Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different, on different fixtures. Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, well, we're up to 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a What's On Display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinue things in showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that, because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home, and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmaidenVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.